All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be showing you my entire Dennis Lehane book collection. If you followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I mention Dennis Lehane a lot as one of my top five favorite authors of all time. In fact, my very most favorite mystery slash thriller writer is Dennis Lehane. And it's about time I showed you my collection. Because it's a cool, dope, super fly, hot collection that's on fire. And we're going to get into that. I've reviewed a couple of his books on the channel. So if you want to find those reviews, just type in my last name, Durfee. Type in Dennis Lehane's last name, Lehane into your search bar in YouTube, and I swear to God, the video reviews will show up on your YouTube screen. It's the way the internet works. I didn't design it, I just know how it works. Let's talk about the collection. I've met Dennis Lehane. As we go through this collection, I'm gonna show you that pretty much every book in my collection has been signed by the man. You know, uh, to Brian, we'll get it. We'll, 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 I'll show you all of them anyway. So let's talk about Dennis Lehane. He's just a great writer. Just everything he writes. His prose is razor sharp. His books are dripping with just themes and atmosphere great dialogue, spot-on characterizations. I just can't tell you how good of a writer this guy is. One of the reasons I love him so much is he's just, he's like a literary writer who writes fast-paced adventure thrillers, mystery novels that are just great and gripping. So let's start at the beginning of his career. The first book he ever wrote was a drink before the war. Now, I did leave a review of this book. It is his first mystery novel starring Kenzie and Gennaro, the um, detectives, the Boston detectives. And every one of their mystery, every one of these Kenzie Gennaro mysteries are just so beautifully written, steeped in Boston history and lore, Boston Noir mystery novels. Just great. And Kenzie and Gennaro are two of my favorite characters in literature. They rank right up there with um, Gus McRae and Woodrow Call of Lonesome Dove. Or, uh, you know, any of the other great duos in literature that I've mentioned over the years. Just so good, so good. And like I said, I met, I've met i met him and he signed my books. This is book number one in the Kenzie and Gennaro series. This is the series that he started writing. Book number two is Darkness Take My Hand. Uh, now, uh, you know, we always review. He did sign this one for me, too. Yeah, I, we always do review the covers and stuff. Because, you know, I love cover illustration and graphic design. So these are, these are okay. I mean, I'm not going to write home to my grandma about how awesome these covers are. But I will tell you, they do serve the purpose. It looks like they were kind of done by the same designer, maybe. Uh, uh, probably not. They were published by two different publishers. But anyway, these are first editions. Let's look at book number three in his Kenzie Gennaro series, Sacred. <coughs> If I pause and take a drink of my soda every now and then, that's just because uh, because I'm thirsty. Sacred, book number three. Good cover. He's starting to get a bigger, like, like using his name up front a little more because these books are starting to take off, you know. If we notice in these first books, his name was just well, it went a wee bitty tiny thing at the bottom. And, we, and it gets a little bigger. And then by book three, you know, they're really starting to make his name bold. If we take a look at my first debut novel, my first debut novel, you know, my name is a little tiny thing in the corner. By book number two, it's a little bit bigger. And I imagine by book number three, my name will be like 
huge, sacred third book in the Kenzie Gennaro mystery series. And these all came out in the early 90s, and so now we're getting to sort of the late 90s. Gone, baby, gone. One of the classic mystery novels. Again, this book is signed to me. Gone, baby, gone. Maybe you saw the, because we're going to also look at some of the movies that were made of Dennis Lehane's novels. Now, Gone, Baby, Gone was made into a movie starring Casey Affleck, Morgan Freeman, Stephanie Monaghan, I think that's the name, yeah. Michelle Monaghan, I was way off. Uh, anyway, this was directed by Ben Affleck, Casey Affleck's brother. It's, it's just a great, great, very faithful adaptation of the book, which makes it a great movie. And I also had Dennis Lehane sign my uh, DVD. So if you want to uh, get a taste of what Dennis Lehane is like, I would say rent or download or whatever people do, Netflix, Gone Baby Gone, and watch it, and you're going to be impressed. It is, it is just one of the most gripping mystery movies you'll ever, ever watch. Book number four in his Kenzie and Gennaro series was Prayers for Rain. I like this cover. I actually really dig the silver look and the it's just, just it's just a sharp cover. And again, he signed this one to me also. And then book number five in his Kenzie and Gennaro series is uh, Moonlight Mile. I really like this one too. Um, and then uh, let's move this one over somewhere over here. Let's talk about Mystic River. Now, the Kenzie and Gennaro books sold pretty well. They made a great name for Dennis Lehane. He was selling pretty well. But the book that launched him into the stratosphere was Mystic River. This is an absolute... This book is perfection. If you've watched my top 10 mystery novels of all time uh, video, or if you've even watched my top 10 novels of all time video, you know this book finishes high on both of those lists. It is absolute perfection as far as mystery novels go. Also signed to me by Dennis Lehane. Not only that, but there was also a movie made of this book called Mystic River, and I got Dennis to sign my DVD of that also. This Mystic River is a great, great Great, almost won the Oscar for Best Movie of the Year. But it stars Sean Penn. Um, I'm going to read these because... Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, Kevin Bacon, Lawrence Fishburne, Marcia Gray, Laura Linney, Mystic River, directed by none other... Oh, my glasses. Directed by none other than Clint Eastwood. Oh, gosh, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Great book with a magnificent adaptation. Almost beat for beat with the book. So far, Dennis Lehane has had... The movies that have been made of Dennis Lehane books really do follow closely the books, which lets you know that this guy is such a great writer that even the movie makers are like, why would we change anything? We don't need to change a thing. Let's film the book. And they did, and they were great. And then his next big breakout hit was Shutter Island. And, um, again, he signed that one to me, too. Shutter Island also got a magnificent film adaptation starring Leonardo DiCaprio, directed by Martin Scorsese. Again, film the book, and you're going to get a great movie. And that's what they did. And then Dennis Lee Haynes. So now we've got the Kenzie and Gennaro books. We've got um, these two standalone books, which were huge hits. And then he decided to move on to um, this trilogy of historical novels, beginning with Live by Night, The Given Day, and world gone by they all kind of tie into each other and they're all kind of like boardwalk empire 
If you've watched Boardwalk Empire, the uh, sort of the mobsters in the early 1900s, that's what these are about, a trilogy. Now, one of these books was made into a movie also directed by Ben Affleck and starring Ben Affleck. I can't remember if it was Live by Night or The Given Day. I never did watch that movie. I kind of, you know, I should. That should be part of my collection. I don't know why it's not, because I loved Boardwalk Empire by HBO, and I loved these books. And I loved the previous Dennis Lehane stuff that was directed by Ben Affleck. Sometimes stuff just slips by me. <laughs> I need to get that. I need to get the movie. Was it The Given Day or was it Live by Night? I can't remember. But anyway, these these books are also all autographed by Dennis Lehane to me. And then we've got this little standalone novel, The Drop, which is just a gorgeous little mystery novel. <clears throat> it was also made into a movie, The Drop. He signed it. Starring James Gandolfini and Thomas Hardy. Is that his name, Thomas Hardy? No, Tom Hardy. Yeah, Tom Hardy, James Gandolfini, and Naomi Rapace. This is a great movie. I love this movie. And it is a really good adaptation of this short novella by Dennis Lehane. I liked it a lot. And then last but not least is his final novel that came out a few years ago. Um, Since We Fell. Again, a great cover, great little... Uh, this is kind of more of a liter... This is, I don't know if this is a necessarily a uh, mystery novel or a piece of literary fiction, but it was very good. It was very good. Um, and I remember it was about um, adoption. It came out about, it came out in, this is the last novel he's written and it came out in 2017. So we're due for another Dennis Lehane book soon, I would think, because he does come out with books every three to four years. Um, and he signed this one to me also. Uh, great book. That is my um, entire Dennis Lehane collection, both books and movies. Like I said, this guy has been writing since the early 90s. He does, he's not the fastest writer. I mean, he doesn't produce something every year or six months. There is, there's about a two to four year gap between all of his novels. That's why he's been writing for about 30 years and produced one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen novels. So yeah. Anyway, but oh, they're great. They're, every, every single one of them is just delicious to read. There's not a weak novel in the whole group. They are all just absolute dynamite. They are all just great. I can't get over how much I love this guy's writing. Sometimes there are some novelists and some novels out there that I do kind of wish that I had written. And in, and in an alternate universe, I say that I did write them. And Dennis Lehane is one of those guys. Just, I love all of his stuff. If I was to re recommend where to start in Dennis Lehane's universe, I would say either start with his first Kenzie and Gennaro book, A Drink Before the War, and go ahead and work your way through that one, two, three, four, five, six book series. Or start with um, Mystic River, because it's just a classic mystery novel. Probably going to go down in history as one of the great American novels of all time. That's where I would probably say. Start with Mystic River if you want to stand alone. Or if you want to get into the six book Kenzie and Gennaro series. I would start with a drink before the war. In fact, I would read the Kenzie and Gennaro books. They are just so much fun. Yeah, in fact, I would say that. Read the Kenzie and Gennaro series before you read Mystic River. That's my recommendation.